I'm Harry Robertson. And I'm Ali Merchant. And we're working on transistor, transistor bridges. bridges. Basically, a transistor bridge is a connection between the human mind and technology. During this project, Harry and I have split the project into two parts, a mechanical side, which I'm covering, and a, and a humanity side, which, which Harry will be covering. In the mechanical side, I dissected a cow brain. This cow brain was, is modeling a human brain, and I was gonna find a safe entry to the hippocampus. The hippocampus is located right inside the brain, right in the middle. So I thought, I said, you can't go through the front because you'll damage the person. But if you go through the back, make an incision, turn left and right a couple of times, you've reached the general area of the hippocampus, which in the future, hopefully, a transistor bridge may be placed. So um, the reason we were looking for the hippocampus is a way, um, what we'd do is we'd put a um, makeshift robotic um, thing that would replace the hippocampus. It allows us to put more, much more information into a succinct part of the brain. Uh, this gives us um, the ample space to store information rather than the normal hippocampus, which can only take so much. I looked at surveying different people and seeing how much information they retained after giving them a chunk of information and then smaller pieces. We found that people who took the large chunk only retained three out of eight of the questions right from information retained, whereas people that got it succinctly and periodically retained 100% of the information. We then um, reasoned that it would be without a doubt that we'd um, upload information periodically rather than all at once, which was actually our driving question. The driving question, should information be uploaded all at once or periodically, is the one we chose to test. And throughout this survey, we figured out that if we do it all at once, people are gonna get confused and even lost. Like, if I give you all the shit of information on quantum physics and you read it and say, uh, what the heck? But if I give you section after section, explain it to you, you'll understand it a lot better. And that is how we came to answer our driving question. And this survey was not only filled with questions like things that you would know, like one plus one is two. We asked questions like, what does hippopotamus translate to in another language? It was water horse. Or things that people should know, like seven times eight, 56. Or what is the first day of Lent, Ash Wednesday? When we started this project, we just came um, with a simple statement asking whether we should upload information all at once or periodically. Throughout this project, it's gotten much bigger and we've now come to the point where we found a space in the brain where we can upload so much information that there's no real need for the um, human hippocampus anymore. And this could lead to major medical advancements, disappears in al Alzheimer's, dementia, diseases that stop you from retaining memories, precious memories that is. And this, this could all be solved in the future if transistor bridge were invented and implanted in human brains all around the world.